How's it going guys? It's Jeremy Dwayne here and welcome back to WoW 101. This is episode 2. If you missed episode 1, make sure to click the annotation wherever I put it. And uh, check out episode 1 where I taught you how to get WoW for free. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make your very first character and uh, some of the different things you need to take in mind when choosing so. Uh, so first off, you got to choose a server. So there's several servers. You know, there's, there's US, there's EU, there's... Uh, United States, Oceania, Latin America, Brazil. Uh, these are the North American server or servers or the West servers, I think. No, these are the Mo North American, uh, even though some of those aren't North American. Uh, these are all for the U.S. servers uh, available. And then uh, there's EU servers, which just depends on which type of client you are. Uh, you can be in America and play as EU, but you can't play... Um, you can't be on both with one account. So it depends on where your account is. Uh, and usually if you're over over there, you're on EU. And if you're over here, you're on US. So that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, but there's lots of servers to choose from. Uh, if you go through, you can look at them. There's a couple things you have to take into mind when uh, looking at servers. So first off, over here is going to be the realm name. So there's lots of different realms. Uh, the, the ones that I have characters on, Stormrage, Ghostlands, and Alexstrasza. Uh, the type of server uh, dictates what goes on on those servers. So there's three different types. There's Normal, there's PvP, and then there's RP, which is Roleplay. PvP means that anywhere in the world, except, except for, like, safe areas, I think. No, everywhere. I don't know. I haven't played on a PvP server in years. Um, but anywhere in the world... If there's a horde character and an alliance character, you can attack each other. Without warning, just go at it. Uh, a lot of people like that. A lot of people like me don't like it. Normal servers means that there's no world PvP. However, you can flag yourself for PvP, and then other players of horde and other players of alliance can attack each other if they're flagged for PvP. So that's how that works. Uh, but if you don't want to do world PvP, say you just want to quest in peace, you want to do your dailies, get it done fast, don't flag yourself, don't get killed. Uh, the character slot just tells you how many characters you have on that server. And then the population is the key thing, the second key thing that you need to keep in mind. So high population server means that there's a lot of players on there. Medium, it's okay. Low, there's like no one. So I would recommend, and full means that good luck, you're not going to get on. Um, so, servers like Stormrage and Illidan and Malganus, you know, Tychondrius, these types of servers are going to be full all the time. So, you can expect queue times to get onto the server when uh, it's peak raid time, because most of those high population servers are really popular raiding servers. Uh, so, if you want to get on that have any issues with uh, with logging on, no queue times, you want to have a decently populated uh, auction house and stuff like that, go for a medium sized server like Ghostlands or Alexstrasza. Uh, any of these medium ones are going to be decent, uh, but the best way to like tell which server to start on is just like if you have friends, play on their server. Uh, if you don't have friends, just pick one at random. Now there is these these two servers here that are for new players, and I really don't know what that means, but personally I have never chosen that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log into Stormrage because I have all most of my characters there. And uh, once you choose your server, it'll come into a screen that looks like this, except you won't have any characters, and it'll prompt you to make a character. Uh, if you want to create a new character, you can click this button down here, create a new character. And you'll be brought to this. So there's several things that you have to choose from when creating your character. Uh, and the first thing that you choose from is which alliance you are, if you're alliance or horde. And then which race. And then finally, which class. So, and, and gender. You can choose which gender. So you can be male or female. So I I usually go alliance because I like alliance and I can't stand Orgrimmar. But uh, you can choose either way. And then you have humans, dwarfs, night elves, gnomes, draenei, worgen, and pandaren for alliance. For horde, you have orcs, undead, tauren, troll, blood elf, goblins, and pandarens. 
Pandarins are a neutral race, so they can go either way. Uh, when you start a Pandaren character, you are neutral. And then when you get to like level 13 or 15, I can't remember, but whenever you leave that starter area, uh, you choose your faction. You choose either Alliance or Horde. Um, so keep that in mind and choose whichever faction your friends are choosing. Um, and just an FYI, gear usually looks better on female characters. Just saying. And for, for pandas, everything's ugly. Uh, now one thing to keep in mind with, with, with pandas is that... Um, you can only choose to be, or no, you can be a panda without mop, but you can only be a monk if you have Miss of Pandaria, the expansion pack, purchased. So if you don't have Miss of Pandaria, you can't be a monk, but you can still be a panda. So for a second I was like, it's, it's not how it works, but it, that is how it works. So if you're a monk, you can only be a monk if you have mop. Uh, so if you are doing the starter edition, you cannot make a monk. But you can make anything else except for a Death Knight. Um, so Death Knight is the other class that you cannot make. Uh, but that's not because of an expansion pack. The reason why you can't make a Death Knight right away is because you have to have a character that's level 55 or higher before you can make a Death Knight. Because Death Knights start out at level 55. So keep that in mind as well. Death Knights are awesome character, awesome classes. Uh, it's a really good tank, really good DPS, all around awesome character. I'm working on a couple of them at the moment for alts. So, uh, once you choose your, your race, your gender, and your faction, uh, you get to choose which class you want to be. Now, different races can be different things. So, as you can see, like, uh, for gnomes, different things are grayed out. So, like, a gnome cannot be a paladin, hunter, shaman, or druid. But a human can be a paladin, hunter, and uh, like Draenei can be a shaman, paladin, hunter, etc. Like it's, it. You have to choose a class that fits the race that you want, or choose a race that fits the class that you want. So uh, let's go over some of the classes. A warrior is melee DPS and tank. Uh, you can be a tank, or you can be a two-handed. Uh, I believe it's combat. No, it's not combat. I can't remember what the, the spec is, but you can be either a one two-handed DPS or you can be a Fury Warrior and dual wield two two-handed weapons or two one-handed weapons. Uh, really good DPS, really good tanks, high movability. Paladins are good tanks, good DPS, they can also heal. Uh, so Paladins are an all-around class, they can do everything, um, and which is pretty sweet. Uh, I personally have a paladin and I like to tank on it. Again, melee. Uh, but healing isn't melee, so you can you understand that. Hunter. Kind of goes without saying. You control pets. Pets do damage. You also are a range character, so you deal damage from afar. The nice thing about hunters is you can deal damage while moving, so you don't have to stand still and cast. Uh, very helpful for high mobility fights where you need to be moving and doing damage while moving. So that's that's a really good, really fun class to play. Rogue is another melee DPS uh, only class. They are very stealthy and they can they can cloak themselves to walk into an area. Uh, they are also fairly tanky. Uh, they're not tanks, but they are going to take a lot less damage than most other classes. Uh, they they wear at agility clothing and agility gives you natural dodge so rogues naturally dodge um, abilities that attack them so you're gonna take less damage as a rogue and uh, it's all around awesome priests uh, you can heal you can damage uh, pretty much it they're caster so if you're doing DPS you're gonna be casting from a distance. Uh, I haven't leveled up a priest all the way, but they're pretty fun, and I have lots of friends that have priests, and they're really good class. Uh, very strong healing, very strong DPS. Shamans, uh, really good class. They are uh, damage, healing, pretty cool class. Uh, I haven't made one either myself, but I want to eventually. Uh, really strong healers, really strong DPS, 
all around a pretty good character. They can also they also utilize to totems, so uh, a lot of their damage comes from these totems. As you can see, there's a fire one back there uh, in the background, and uh, I believe they're melee DPS and range uh, healing, of course. I believe they're melee DPS. If I'm wrong on that, correct me, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Mage, a really good class. I've said this for everything. Everything's a good class. I don't know why I'm saying that. But Mage is caster DPS. Pretty awesome. Uh, they actually got nerfed in 5.2 a little bit and buffed at the same time. So, kind of a toss up on that one for right now. But Mages are really good. So, I know a lot of people that do it and are really good. Uh, Warlocks, very, very good DPS. Uh, they are caster DPS, again, a DPS only class. They utilize pets, or not pets, but demons, I guess they're called. Uh, so you can have demons that can tank for you, you can also have demons that just straight up pump out DPS, you can have demons that control, that use crowd control, so that really helps out with fights. Uh, where you're trying to do solo or something like that. Um, most of Warlocks, most Warlocks choose Affliction, which is damage over time. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be a lot of burst damage, but there is, there is a few specs. The other two specs are more burst damage than anything. But Warlocks are great. You can cast while moving when you hit the level 90. Uh, but up until that point, while leveling, have fun because you have to stop every time you want to cast. Monks, I love monks. Monks are awesome. Uh, they are tanks, DPS, and healing. Uh, I have a tank, and I'm leveling a healer. And uh, really, really awesome tanks. High mobility, uh, awesome DPS. Again, high mobility, and healing. High mobility. Uh, they are just all around awesome. Uh, when you're healing, you can you can go two ways. You can either stand back and cast heal, or you can stand right up close with the melee and heal locally. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can heal with it. Uh, you can do damage and and heal while doing damage to stuff. So really versatile class there, um, and definitely recommend checking it out if you have Mist of Pandaria. Uh, druids, again, are like monks. You can do everything. You can except you can take it one step further you can tank you can melee dps you can range dps and you can heal and on top of that druids get to change forms so you can be a bear uh, a tree you can be uh, a boomkin which is like a ugly chicken looking thing or you can be uh, a panther type thing i can't remember exactly what it is but it's like a, a panther and then, uh, and then you have Death Knights, which are tanks and DPS. So once you uh, decide which class you want to be, uh, let's just let's just make a uh, let's make a rogue because I haven't made a rogue. And uh, once you choose your class, you can again choose your gender. And then here you can customize how your character looks. You can either randomize it completely, um, like you can randomize it, and it'll just choose different things or you can go in and specifically change the way they look to your liking uh, which I definitely recommend changing the way they look uh, if you want to change their hair you can always change their hair later in game so if you pick something really ugly and you're like oh I didn't like that you can always change the hair later because there's a barber in game but uh, things like the face and uh, I believe markings and stuff like that you can't change so just keep that in mind um, I'm actually not gonna be a one of those I'm gonna be a human because I like human um, but yeah you can choose different things different races have different customizations like piercings on humans pretty cool uh, and then you can create your name finish create your create your character and then once you have your character created you enter the world and that's it that's I mean that's that's a lot to take in right now but that's how you make a character that's a brief rundown of everything 
uh, what each class is. A lot of different things that you can take into account um, as far as racials, like different racials give different benefits and different benefits are more useful to different classes than some. So if you want, I'm going to leave a link down below to a list of different racials and it'll tell you uh, kind of the the best situation that that would be used in like which classes that would be good for so uh thanks so much for watching episode two of wow 101 and uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned for the next episode where i teach you something new about wow uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and a favorite and subscribe to my channel for more videos have a nice day